I get some of your lipstick. Thank you. Barbara, Barbara, take a bow. Thank you very much. Oh, I love the Nashville Now audience. You just have the sweetest, most energetic audiences. And I know because I watch all the time. How are you? I'm at, fine. At this, at this very moment, you're out of breath. Well, yeah, a little bit. I was having a good time singing about them and about them. Where there's, are you ready to talk about the project you're working on? Oh, yes. Barbara is very busy these days because she's working on a television special which will be shot next Wednesday night and shown on the 7th of March, which is the anniversary of the network. You want to tell you now? Do you want to take it from there? Well, sure. I, I appreciate this very much. Um, all of the seats were taken in two hours after the tickets were made available. However, they say at TNN, Please check, because we, the doors close at 7.30. Everybody's supposed to be in their seats. And if some people, you know how sometimes they don't show, there may be some more seats. So at least check on it. And this is a, it's an all-star salute to country music that TNN is doing. And I'm very privileged that Johnny Cash and I are co-hosting this special for TNN. And uh, Ralph Emery is going to be working very hard on this special, too. And I, uh, I kind of felt like you might ask me who's on the show. Yes, so I thought I might. I took this out of my script, and I'll, uh, you can flip over that front page there if you okay. want. Okay. And there you go. It's up okay. to you. I mean, there are 70 names here. 75, but who's Excuse counting? Me. The President Bush is on. This is, this is the largest contingent, I suppose, the largest collection of country music stars on one show ever. Right? I don't know. I just know it's big. This is a two-hour special. Alabama, Willie Nelson, Tom T. Hall, Johnny Cash, you mentioned Randy Travis. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I decided to let Ralph name names that he wanted to name because I can't name all 75. They I won't mean, give me uh, enough time. Ann, I don't Mur wanna... Ann Murray? Yeah, I just don't want to You're not going to put let Jimmy Dean be on, are you? Yeah, Jimmy Dean. <laughs> well, he'll, em he'll embarrass us. Oh, he's wonderful. Huh? Well, at any rate, it's, um, it's a marvelous celebration. Uh, Dean, Dean happens to be a very good friend of mine. Uh, but I, <laughs> I can't be held accountable for him. Hank Williams, Jr., Ricky Skaggs, Lee Greenwood, it goes on, the Statler brothers, and you have a special salute to some 
John Ritter's going to be on? Yes. And But how, how did you, I'm curious as to how you swung the President of the United States, Mr. Bush. Well, you were saying Jimmy Dean's your friend. He's, uh, President Bush is also all of our friends. <laughs> I'm his friend, too. He blew me a kiss when he was Vice President from across the room at a state dinner. I was sitting at President Reagan's table, and uh, I was looking for the table where my husband Ken was sitting, and as I looked around, I, my eyes met with Vice President Bush's eyes, and he went, oh. and um, he and Mrs. Bush have been very, very good to us. What is his role in the special? The president? Yes. Well, he loves country music, well, and that's, that. what, that's what he's discussing, and you know, TNN, uh, you've been here at home, and aren't we all lucky that we get to watch you? and so many other good shows, but yours Barbara, is the you're best not answering my end. question. You're dancing around it. Well, you have to watch this show. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what the president... I will tell you a funny story real quick. My director that used to direct TNN is really making me so happy because they have bought every television series of Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell Sisters, and they start... I'm thrilled. They're going to start airing us on uh, March the 31st. That's our first Saturday night, and we're on thereafter. And I thank them for that. The director of that television show is Jack Regas. And uh, Jack is retired now, but out of love, I asked him to come direct this TNN special okay, that we're doing. Um, and he's here, and he was watching President Bush's videotape that we had done. And at the very end, the president says something about, well, Barbara and I love country music, or something of that nature. And Jack Regas says, oh my gosh, he didn't mention Johnny. <laughs> Barbara Bush, Barbara Mandrell. Uh, I said, I know I'm the ultimate Barbara, but there is a Mrs. Bush, okay? All right. On tonight's show, I'm going to interrupt you now for a moment. Oh. Now, just before we roll the tape, I'm going to ask Barbara what uh, she remembers about that day that we raced in December prior to Christmas. Uh, what do I remember? Um... <laughs> well, I'll go first. What do you remember? Well, I, I remember that Barbara called me at my condominium, and she said, uh, uh, I have raced in the John Denver, and uh, she said, I beat uh, Captain Kirk, William Shatner, and, and they say he's really good. And I said, come on, Barbara, let's don't start this. Let's don't start this psyching stuff at this hour of the morning. Then I get to the top of the slope, and Ken is standing there, that's Barbara's husband, he said, You've never run flags before, have you? I said, I said, no, I haven't. He said, Barbara has. That's all he, that's all he said. <laughs> you two did a number on well, me. You know, whatever it takes. Huh? I'll tell you what. Let's. And TNN was kind enough to send a crew out to Aspen, and uh, Walt well, Adams. Walt did a <clears throat> wonderful job. And Walt Adams is the man you're going to see first, and here's what happened. Selection of the site for the big race was easy since both Ralph and Barbara's families regularly spent Christmas together at Aspen, Colorado. As race day neared, the Aspen Valley was knee-deep in snow, and the 12,000-foot mountaintops were sparkling against the Colorado blue sky. Snowmass Mountain, one of the three ski areas at Aspen, elevation 10,500 feet, was chosen as the arena for what was quickly becoming known as the Nashville Challenge. Ralph and Barbara head and head at 30 miles an hour. Aspen was born of the silver boom of the late 1800s. In the 1930s, it became a ski resort area. And in 1950, it became a prominent ski race area when Aspen hosted America's first World Alpine Ski Championships. The Aspen of the 1990s retained some of its 1890s Victorian Mining Days heritage, deftly combined with 50 years of ski tradition and the Rockies' natural beauty. The result is one of the world's most sought ski adventure destinations. Skiing itself is an invigorating winter pastime, which is enjoyed yearly by millions of enthusiasts who are anxious to leave the pressure and stress of today's world behind. Ski racing, on the other hand, is an intense test of the participants' physical and mental strength and stamina. As race day for Barbara and Ralph grew closer and closer, preparation for the showdown was intense. Well, it was intense for at least one of the combatants. While Barbara got ready, Ralph got rested up for the big showdown on the slopes. Right up, literally, until minutes before the two participants challenged the course. 
Okay, Ralphie, baby, this is it. I just finished reading this breakthrough on skis, how to get out of that intermediate rut. You've been reading, too? What are you reading? Oh, uh, yeah, it's uh, what, what's going on downtown tonight in Astro. Oh, Ralph. Hey, they've got this great show that Ralphie, we should... Ralphie, baby. At 8 o'clock, we get reservations. No, 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 this is, this is it. This is big time. We've never raced except foot racing when you beat me so badly. This is on skis. I am your teacher. Whether I win the race or not, I win because I'm your teacher. I would love for my student to win. Of course, you know how aggressive I am. Listen. And you know how seriously I take it. And you know how much I I've would never, rather... I've never known you to lose and love it. I don't love it when I lose. But you are my student, and I have taught you everything I know. However, I do hope and pray, and I am all for you eating all of my snowflakes. Oh. Stay behind me. I am your teacher. You know how the teacher says, get yeah. behind me? Stay behind me. That, that, that's my instruction? Yes, yeah, stay behind me. Oh, by the way, Barbara, you might watch for this. Barbara does not want to get her hair messed up. No, I really don't. Television. If she gets out in front of me, I'm going to lunge at her hair. <laughs> and if she beats me, or, or if you beat me, the first thing I'm going to do it's is go, up my I'm hair. Go, yeah. <laughs> you do, and I, and you do, and I won't go to these places with you in Aspen. <laughs> I want you to win. Okay. And if you don't win, my heart won't break. Good luck, Coach. Even as Barbara and Ralph got ready for their ski-off, the giant slalom race course was being readied under the watchful eye of Aspen Ski Company race director Jim Hancock. It's fairly turny. It's not something they have to make rapid-fire turns. It's not a downhill, but they have to carry pretty good speed and control it by making a lot of turns, and it's going to be about a little bit under 30 seconds long. What does it take to win in a race like this? Well, I think uh, whoever pays the timer the most is probably going to come out the best. But seriously, what it's going to take uh, is consistency, for one thing, because they need to finish both runs. And they're going to have to be able to control their speed in the turns. And there's a little bump down here at the bottom, so they want to be really flexible and absorb that shock and not get thrown off of their line. And uh, a good aggressive start, and that's pretty much what it's going to take. It's 2 p.m. December 21st. On the right, in the red gate, Nashville now hosts Ralph Emery. In the blue gate, on the left, Ralph's coach, singing star Barbara Mandrell. Ready to cheer? Members of Ralph and Barbara's families. Barbara's already beaten Ralph in the first heat by more than six seconds. A victory in heat two, and she's the champ. And they're off! And it looks like Barbara's pulling away at the start. Yet, yes, she has the early lead. Midpoint, and Barbara has the race in control. It looks like she's going on for the victory. Um, I need another kiss. I won. Uh, oh, way to go, it's Bob. hard to kiss with frozen lips, isn't it? Mwah. I'm proud of you. Uh, Though both racers drew delirious partisan support before, during, and after the race, the scoreboard told the tale. Both racers a second faster on the second run, but Barbara was six seconds faster than Ralph both times down the hill. Thanks for the race. Hey, thank you. I need... Hey, it's hard to beat the coach. Oh, we're sliding hey. backwards. Oh, Goodbye, I people. It. Goodbye, I folks. hope we fall. <laughs> no, no, no. Bye, no. <laughs> So, there you have it. I want a rematch. I want... Can I have a rematch? Anytime. Okay. Anytime. But now, I have just something I want to do real you, fast. Did you notice how when I came in, the people here in the theater laughed? What? What is this? I want to make a presentation. This says, Ralph Emery, teacher's pet, <laughs> first place Barbara Mandrell Ski School. Oh, thank you. I, that may be the only trophy I ever win. Thank you. Thank you. But Barbara, Barbara is a competitive lady, and, you, and she skis so well. And uh, I, thank you, I, thank you, I thank you very much. They know I don't ski well. They saw the video I, uh, tape. Barbara, I, I will say this, that uh, 
I gave away 15 years to you, and I'm wondering if you're going to go after Mr. Acup next. <laughs> <laughs> We'll take a little break. We'll be right back in a moment to Nashville now. It was a classic in 1979 for Barbara Mandrell, a big hit in her career called Years. Here's Barbara. <laughs> Turn around to find 